Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video on projects I hit pan on and projects I finished. Now I have a lot more that I actually finished. Not all makeup products, but most. And so I just wanted to start finishing things up or trying to hit pan because I really don't hit pan on things. And I feel like it's kind of just a waste because it just sits there. So, let me know if you want either a review on the products. The products that I finished, I'm just going to throw it out. But, if, like, comment below and I'll let you know what I thought about them. And let me know if you want a review on any of the products that I just hit pan on, anything like that. Or if you want, like, a, a comparison video, whatever. And I'll probably just try to, um, like give you a little bit like description whether I liked it, didn't like it, whatever. And yeah, so just let me know if you want me to do a couple so, yeah, of Yeah, I'm just you. gonna start trying to finish up things as opposed to them just sitting there. So first thing is this Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Mineral Loose Powder. And if you could see I have hardly anything left. Hope you can see that. There's like nothing in here. I think this is like eleven dollars. I don't know if they, they might still make it. I think Physician Formula is only sold at CVS now. It used to be sold at Walgreens, but I don't think it is anymore. And I really used to like this, but now I kind of just like translucent powders, but it's good. Next, I have the MAC MSF in Medium. And I've hit pan. But I still have a little bit of product around the corners, if you can see. But, I, yeah, I want to finish this. I probably can't finish this, though, until summer because it's too dark. It's in medium. Next is this Almay Clear Complexion Powder in Light to Medium. And I got this a long time ago. I don't even know if they still make it. But I've hit a great amount of pan on that. And I really wanted to finish it, but this is also entirely too dark for me. Um, you probably can't see that, but it is, so I can't really finish this now unless I want to look orange and too tan. Next, I have, I have a lot of pressed powders that I hit pan on. Um, the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in Transparent, and I love this. So I hit pan. Next, I have two eyeshadows. This is a one I got a long time ago from Estee Lauder, and it's the eyeshadow compact disc in pink and orange, and I hit and on the orange, if you can see that. These colors are okay. I mean, they're nothing great, but I got this a really long time ago. Then I was excited. Because I have the Maybelline Quad in Sunlit Bronze and I absolutely love it. And I actually hit pan on two out of four. So I mean that's awesome. And you can see that I hit like a pretty good amount of pan. But um, the highlight, I don't use a lot of the highlight. And the crease color, I don't really use it. I only use it sometimes. So I was really happy that I did that. So now I'm going to move on to things that... I finished. I finished this Fiore Refresh Daily Cleansing Cloths with Green Tea, and there were 10. These were okay. I don't really think they were the best makeup removers. They kind of dried out my face, so I didn't really like them. I finished the Fiore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips, and there was 8 in here. And this is for like your nose. And I absolutely love these. If you have, like, blackheads on your nose, definitely try these out. Like, this is awesome. And then this is kind of just what the strip looks like, if you could see that. But, yeah, these are awesome. I think they were, like, seven, six, seven, eight dollars somewhere around that. And I really love them. You only get eight, but you don't have to use them every day. You use them, like, once a week. I finished this Garnier Fructis 3-Minute Undo Reversal. Dryness Reversal Treatment, and this is just a deep conditioner, 
this was okay. It had like avocado seeds in it or something. Um, it wasn't my favorite. It was kind of watery for a deep conditioner. I like thick, like really thick, creamy deep conditioners, and this was like a little watery. I finished this Jergens Natural Glo Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer, and this is in medium to tan. I love this. I really do. Um, you use this once, and you automatically have some kind of color. So I would, if you're like my complexion, like not fair, but not like like dark, probably get the medium to tan. That's what I like. I don't think the light to medium would work as fast as this. This thing I have had for like maybe years, and it absolutely sucked. It was this little thing from icing, the seven day lip gloss, and the lip glosses were like really disgusting and nasty. So I wanted to finish them. I finished two mascaras. I finished my CoverGirl Lash Blast, and how you know is basically um. You, it gets like a weird smell, so that's how you know it's like bad. And then if you can hear this, like it's like you can hear the sound that it's like empty, and it kind of stinks. So I wanted to get rid of it. So now I have the one in waterproof, and I really love that mascara. I have a lot of mascara, so I don't think I'm gonna repurchase that yet. Then I have this great lash. And this is from from a long time ago, and that's just what the wand looks like. And with this, you can hear it that it's empty. You could hear that it has that like very dry, um, empty sound. That was okay. I mean, it wasn't my favorite. I finished a pack of the Elf Professional Shiny Racers, and that came with fifty. These were only a dollar, and these are great blotting sheets. They're cheap. I don't really think you have to buy expensive blotting sheets. So, whatever. Um, I finished a concealer from Wet n Wild, and this was really old. I kind of, like, dug out the product. So I didn't waste any. And this is the very old uh, cover stick. It just looks like that. The cover sticks do not look like this now. And I really like that. I used to like it, but now I really don't because I found better concealers. I don't really like stick concealers anymore. I finished the Wet n Wild um, gel liner in 886, and it was just the black. And what had happened was I actually, I didn't really like this. I liked it, but I didn't. And... I just kind of put it away and it actually dried out. So I just kind of took out the product. So I'm probably just going to use this to store like pigment or something. Like that's the thing with um, finishing up products, especially in containers. You have the extra containers if you don't like go out and buy containers. Then I have the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect. I really love this. It does give your skin a little bit of an orange tint, but it minimizes my pores because I have large pores around here. And I really liked it. I think it was like $7. I actually bought a backup when Rimmel was having a 50% off sale. So I think it was like 3 three something, but I really like this. I finished this Some Kind of Gorgeous by Benefit. And this just came in one of their like to-go sets. So that's just what it looks like. It's completely empty. Maybe I'll use this for something. Maybe I'll just pour some foundation and like keep it in my bag or something. I don't really know. Not sure. But we'll see. Or maybe I can even put an eyeshadow in here. Maybe I could press an eyeshadow. Like try pressing my first eyeshadow. That'd be pretty cool. I'll try that. Um... I finished this Makeup Forever HD powder, completely empty. This is another container that I'm going to have, and I actually have another one. This is the trial size, so it was like 15 instead of 30, and I have another trial size because I really like this. And I finished the uh, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and I've just had this. 
for a really long time, and I just wanted to finish it because I did not have much left. You can see that there's nothing in there. So yeah, those are the products I hit pan on and finished. And I'm going to keep trying to finish products or at least hit pan on them. So let me know if you want more videos like this. Probably not anytime soon because I want to get like a bulk of stuff. So yeah, um, just comment below. Let me know what products you finished, what products you hit pan on, and if you want any reviews, and if you want more videos like this. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.